This contest is for three minute rounds of boxing in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the white colour shorts trimmed with black. At the weight he scaled 12 stone, 5 pounds, 4 ounces. His ring record this evening reads, 6 contests, 3 wins, 3 defeats. Presenting from Arnold Nottinghamshire, from the Andrew Low camp, here is Dean, Dino Gillen. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the black colour shorts, trim, here we go. At the way he's still, 11 stone, 13 pounds, 3 ounces. From one contest, he has one win. He hails from Flixton and the Smooth Camp, presenting John Putnam in the Boots Helper. Great support. Absolutely. Philip Morris is our timekeeper. Referee so plenty is of buried. tickets. John Latham for three minute rounds. Questions just come in for you, Ryan. What's been the hardest training camp so far in your career? No, fairness has been low. Probably, I mean, last, last training camp, probably when I was getting ready to fight Ian Bailey for the English title. Uh, blood, blood, sweat, and tears went into that training camp, so um, that's probably the, the hardest up to now. Absolutely. Here we go. Telford against Gillen. Nice message from Jack Flatley, fellow professional. He just wished John Telford all the best for this one on Twitter, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Here we go. Both men being cautious early on. You can see that they don't want to make mistakes. Nice shot from Gilly. He's on the front foot already. Telford's catching a lot of these on his gloves though. Starting at a ferocious pace, non-stop. Absolutely, that's a nice shot. Looks like it's going to be a bit of a slugfest. Good one for the fans, this. Both men doing all they can to get the stoppage, it looks like. Throwing big shots. That's a nice shot, left up. And again, on the great upper shot. Landed. That's great work. He's got him on the back foot now. Just needs to keep his composure. Put his shots together well. Just don't want to rush this now. Great head movement. Not much to split them early on, they both had their successes. See Telford looking for that uppercut. He's just missing it. Only just so. Nice work again from Telford. Gill is catching all these on his gloves, but Shout the ones are getting through. Telford's like he's stuck in the ropes there. Needs to move. Yeah, Gillen needs to be careful and tire himself out, but Telford's got to get out of there. Like that. Good work. It's a nice hook to the head again. Telford's not wasting many punches. Just seems to freeze Telford a little bit when he's under pressure. Just needs to move out of the way. He's taking the necessary shots. The last thing you want to do is give this guy confidence. Telford's got to work this jab, discourage him a bit, let him know that he's there. Just missed that right hand. He seems to be loading up a little bit now. Seems to pick his shots, relax. Yeah, the both of them seem a bit tense, a bit eager to get the other one out of there. They need to relax a bit. Ferocious pace this, straight from round on. Just throwing slugs now. A bit messy. Ten seconds left of the round. It's been a close one, a tight one. How'd you score that one? Yeah, just got to give it to Telford. Just did a bit more of the cleaner work. I thought his shot was a little bit sharper and his punch uh, variety was good. Only just so. Absolutely. 
A tweet's coming from Wayne O'Connell. Good luck, Alex Rutter. Middleton's old bringing it home tonight. Hashtag on the new. Still a lot of action to come. Headline by Alex Rutter. Tim Driver wants a shout out for the Terriers, top of the championship. There you go, Tim. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Don Bevan, what's been the best fight tonight? I think the last one. Very good fight, Chris Monaghan, Robert Straczynski. I don't know if you saw him earlier. Adam Makaj, Lucas Hora, that was a devastating stoppage. We've had some great fights so far. This one's a good one as well. Shaping up to be very good. I think they're both just smothering the work a little bit. Have this fight in a phone box. Good work from Telford. Gillers coming back though, as always. You can see both of these lads won it. Yeah, they both want to win this fight. Trading lever. Toe to toe. Gillen comes into this fight with a record of three wins and three losses. All three of his losses have come by stoppage. So if Telford can land and get on top of him. He will get out of there. But he's won three as well on points. He's a dangerous guy. Telford looks so much better. He's got a little bit of distance in between his work. That's a great right hand from Telford. They're going toe to toe now. Gillers on the back foot. Looking for the stoppage. Needs to work the body a little bit before going back to the head, I think. Got to see a little bit more variety with his punches. Absolutely. Gill's doing well to smother him a bit here. Coming back with shots of his own. Early in the second round, they're both looking tiring now, slowly but surely. Both corners are animated now. A bit of blood coming from Gillen's mouth. That's a nice jab. And an uppercut. I see Telford is using his jab a little bit more. He's got a good jab. Again, freezing on the ropes. Just needs a little bit of distance, a little bit of movement. Both lads are tied in now. You can see it already. Yeah, it's been a tough one, this. Toe-to-toe -to -toe war. It's like you're waiting just for one of them to land. Yeah, absolutely. Gill is just walking Telford down, throwing punches. He doesn't look like he's got much energy left. The stoppage is definitely on here. If Telford can get on that front foot like he was before, like that, using the jab. Great fight for the fans. See, again, he's froze again on the ropes. He's taking too many shots from Telford me. Telford needs to get out of there now. He can still land his shots on him. That looks like it's turning again. Yeah, oh, what a, what a left hook. And again, again, the left hook keeps me getting through. And again, what a round that was. What a round, we have that fight in the phone box. A war going on here, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. You're not wrong there. Shout out to Lee Sharpie Oldham. He's still to come against Danny Little. Ladies and gentlemen, Good to sorry see to Karen disturb Pusey the boxing once inside. again. Yet another car, this time in Nissan. Cash key, and this in cash key, registration, Sierra Bravo 61 Golf Uniform Foxtrot, Sierra Bravo 61 Golf Uniform Foxtrot, it's blocking basically everything, please remove it, thank you. The Oldham Chief support tonight on the schedule, we're looking at about 20 past 10 but that might run over. Looking at the replays now, what a war that round was. You can give that one either way, both men had a lot of success. I think Telford's just been edging the rounds, but it's been close. It wouldn't surprise me to see him go the other way. That 
That's a nice shot from Gillen. Big shots again landing. Both men seem to want to get out of there. They don't want to be hanging out for long by the looks of this. And in toe to toe once again. I'd be surprised if this fight goes the distance. Massive credit to both guys' fitness as well. This has been an absolute war here on VIP Boxing Live. Big Great shot. left hook. The left hook seems to be working here. Selfie just needs the box a little bit more for me. Just fire that jab a bit more. Move his head. Yeah, Telford looks in control when he jabs. It's when he gets pulled into a dogfight, like he is doing. That's a lot better there with the jab. For me, Telford just needs to throw straight shots. Straight shots and move and don't stand in front of him. He could make this fight a lot easier for himself. Instead, he's tuning to war it out. Simon Clayton in the corner showing Telford to use the jab and that's spot on. If he uses the jab here he wins the round, simple as that. What a pace he was like to say. Yeah, massive credit to them both, both being in there still. Both taking a lot of punishment. Looking good for Telford going forward, he's got a lot of heart, you can see that. Determination. Selfie just seems to be landing the cleanest shots for me. Yeah, he seems to. Doing a nicer work. A few left hooks getting through there from Gillen. Not taking a backward step, keep pushing forward. And he's been successful. Not all the time, but sometimes. Big shot, oh, Selfie. Lovely shot. Yeah. You could have put these two in a post box and they would have fought like this. Toe to toe action for four rounds. Mitsov just needs to throw straight shots. Telford's corner, tell him to calm down a bit, get back on the jab. I think that'll be a wise move now. Win this round in the last few seconds. Both lads are tired in now. Yeah, you can see the pace is getting to them a bit. Great round again. This break will do them good. They go back up to war again. And Neil Ahmed tweeting in, good luck to the future world champion, Manchester's fine itself for Barrett. He's on later. Final round now. Yeah, this has been a war. Who have you got up so far? I've got Salford in front quite comfortably, to be fair. Um, I couldn't really split in the first round, but I think um, it's a tight fight for me. Yeah, it is a tight fight. Gillen's earning his money in the opposite corner here. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Let us know what you think of the fight. Still a lot of action to come, a lot of excitement. Here we go, the last round. Let's see if it'll be like the previous three, a toe to toe war. I think Dean knows he's behind on the cards. I think he's going to throw everything into this round now. Yeah, I think he knows he needs to see. Get this stoppage. Again, Telford taking silly shots when necessary. Telford just needs to use his jab a little bit more. That's where the success is coming from. Lead with a jab and then follow with the hooks. Just smothering his work a little bit there, but... A lot of well wishes for Karen Priestley coming through. Ringside, taking photographs just to the right of us. Shots are just whispering, just tiny. It's a little bit away. Yeah, both men seem to be rushing the work a little bit now in the last round. You see they're both tired in now, but yeah. both giving it all. Yeah. 
the inside there, if John's going to stay in the pocket, he might as well work instead of staying still. Yeah, exactly. Giving this last round to Dean here, I think he's pushing him, putting the pressure on, getting some good shots in. As I say that, it's Alfie starts throwing back. Yeah, both men looking to finish this still, even though we're in the last round. Backward and forward. What a fight. Yeah, I said the last fight was fight of the night. I think this one's just trumped it. What a great fight this is, what a war. In the inside again there, John on his due to do for a couple of punches. Body in there, body in there again, taking unnecessary shots. He's tiring. Yeah, I think they'll both feel this in the morning when they wake up. Put a lot into this. That's it. Great work. Staying busy. Dead movement of John. John looking a little bit more comfortable now. I think Gillen's lost a little bit of power from his punches, and I'm not surprised. He's put a lot into this fight. Can't separate in this round. What a great fight that was for me, and I think Ryan will agree. Telfer's just got that one. But massive credit to Gillen as well. Put his all into that. Yeah, I think Telfer just nicked that there. I think he's uh, punching a little bit sharper. First two rounds he won him comfortably for me. Third, I think he nicked. Yeah. Fourth, he's nothing in it, so he should get a comfortable points decision win. I agree with you on that one. Here's the MC. To you, Simon's line. This buries Michael Buffer. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Remember to tweet in. Massive respect to both guys after that war. Ladies and gentlemen, before we render the decision, Two guys who really give a great effort. Let's hear it for them both. Dean Gillen, John Talford. In what was an absolutely absorbing contest, referee John Latham has scored the contest. 39 points to 38 points. By a point. For your winner. Put him in the boot, John Talford. I think Telford deserved that. I personally scored that a little bit more. A further apart scores by two or three. Let's well, hope for Killen, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear the support behind us. Making a lot of noise, Telford's fans. He's done the job tonight. Moves to 2-0.